This is Bryson Davis, and this is my boy Donovan uh, here in Akron, Ohio. Uh, I lead the Akron Leadership Foundation, and also I'm a pastor of a local church. And we are here in one of our partner ministries buildings called the Front Porch, sitting right in the middle of a kitchen. Um, and I, we sat here intentionally because this has been the heart of reentry work here in Akron uh, for many years now. And uh, we thought it'd be a message in itself to, to, to talk about how the church can creatively engage those um, leaving the, the institution and, and reintegrating back into society. Uh, and an example of, 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 of creative way to create opportunities to remove barriers and to train and to equip and, and to pay people who, um, who, who need that to, to, to get back on their feet. So uh, I just want to introduce my friend Donovan. He's been the one who's been leading a lot of the reentry work here in Summit County. We're just a block away from Summit County Jail. Um, and Donovan's been kind of the liaison for helping individuals kind of get back on their feet and, and make it. So Don, why don't you introduce yourself and kind of uh, how, what reentries looked like over the last year with COVID and then and maybe a, another challenge or encouragement for the church. Okay, I, uh, I've been working in reentry in Summit County for the last seven years now, six or seven years, after a, a period of incarceration myself where I did 13 years in prison. I returned to society in 2003. Mm -hmm. And eventually I was led to give back to the people who had the same lived experience as me. So I searched different organizations and I tried to find like where did it where did it make sense for me to be to use my strengths and my talents to kind of help people who needed it. And I was led here to this building like Price said it's a cornerstone of reentry in this community and when I, I the thing that kept me here more so than other places was the spirit I felt when I walked into this building. So in this building, I could actually feel the, the opportunity to help people. As we deal with this past year in COVID and, and how it has changed not only reentry, but our country, I am led to understand that everything is different right now than how it was a year prior to this. I mean, I got a mask in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> everything is different and uh, we have to adjust accordingly. But the one thing that has not changed is people coming home from incarceration, uh, families that are affected by the criminal justice system, people who have made a mistake and they come back to society and they look for the opportunity to show that I am not the mistake I made. I'm bigger than my greatest mistake, I guess. And I think the part that we have to play is we can redefine the role the church has traditionally played in the lives of those people returning because everybody is searching for something. And that something many times can be a spiritual awakening if presented the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the biggest thing post COVID is, uh, well not post COVID, during COVID, mm -hmm. or as we move towards the end, the biggest thing is to just come become more involved in the lives of the people who are returning, not necessarily from a programming standpoint where I offer you programs or I offer you assistance, but I offer you someone to talk to when you need it the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's real talk. So uh, we're grateful to be able to share some of the work that we do here in Akron. And again, we just want to encourage y'all, the church, the, our brothers and sisters around this country um, to just continue to be creative and think of ways to be proximate, to be close, to be in relationship with those who uh, we feel like we're called to serve, um, those we call our neighbors. Um, so, uh, yeah, God bless you. Uh, grace and peace to you. God bless you.